We begin with a bizarre attack in the suburbs. Yes, that's a chainsaw like something straight out of a horror movie. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. We begin with breaking news, that chainsaw attack. Let's get right to CBS 2's Charlie DeMar. He's live for us in Arlington Heights tonight. Charlie. Rob, good evening. Yeah, police still trying to piece this one together. They are calling it a domestic attack, and as you just saw, it involved a chainsaw. All of this unfolding in this office park right here in Arlington Heights around 1 p.m., where this office park is on Golf Road near Highland Avenue. I want to show you some cell phone video that we just got in moments ago. This is what it looked like earlier as this was all unfolding. The cell phone video, you can actually see the man being placed in handcuffs. The man believed to be responsible for this chainsaw attack, and you can see the chainsaw rest resting to the side of him as police make an arrest. Now, looking at this video, it appears that he is shirtless and witnesses telling me that he was only wearing underwear at the time of his attack. Witnesses and police radio traffic also suggest that this started with a car crash and that a man got out of one of those cars and started chasing another man with a chainsaw, possibly into one of the nearby businesses. We did see pictures and video earlier that the victim in this case, he was actually being rolled out of one of the businesses on a stretcher and into an, into an ambulance. We spoke to a man who works in this office park and watched as this unfolded. Chainsaw. It was like the chainsaw massacre out there. I was on my lunch break and I uh, walked out right around that way. And then I saw a cop roll right in real hot. He got out, he immediately pulled out his assault rifle, told the guy to get down, saw the guy on the floor, and uh, that was basically it. And after talking to a number of businesses here, people who work inside those businesses, they tell me this was a wild afternoon watching this all unfold and have, as the police closed in all, on all of this. Now, the extent of the injuries of that victim, that is unknown right now, but the police here in Arlington Heights stressing that there is no threat to the general public. We are live tonight in Arlington Heights. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Okay, Charlie, thank you.